Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be an announcement of a no buy and I'm also going to kind of check in with you on my inventory as far as um, comparing the start of 2020 to the start of 2021. We're going to compare some numbers, see where I'm at with my collection and yeah, just do a general check in. So I do want to say if you guys are new here, please subscribe down below and like this video if you enjoy it. I always love seeing new subscribers here. So thank you so much for all the support to my current subscribers and let's get into the video. So I am officially announcing that I am doing a no buy for a whole month. Um, so today I'm filming on January 17th. So I will not be buying anything until February 17th and that includes candles, body care, skincare, makeup, and hair products. I don't need to buy any of those. So um, I'm really doing this because I'm looking at my inventory numbers uh, comparing from last year they haven't changed as much as I would have liked and because of that I kind of want to scale back on my purchasing so the first six months of 2020 um, basically January to June I did a no buy on everything on all of those products I didn't buy a single one of those um, unless I had run out so like I ran out of all my brow gels so I bought a new brow gel stuff like that but um, I didn't buy anything um, extras so I wouldn't have any extras in my collection and that was really awesome um to me it was nice to see how much i used i kept all of my empties and i did a, a monthly empties and it was just really nice for me to see visually how much i use and how much i can get through if i just stop purchasing so i think instead of doing a full six month no buy this year again like i did last year because i've already bought some stuff in january for sas um, i'm just going to do a full month and um, then we'll see how things go from there so full month no buying any of those categories and um, we'll see on february 17th where i'm at with that um i think i can definitely do it i just need to stay away from bath and body works so i will not be going in store for a while i do have a few i have three free product up to 17 i mean, no 1650 coupons for online um so i will probably use those after the snow buy and use it on the new spring collection. Um, I do kind of want to wait till it trickles into my store and they have, you know, every scent in every product form. So that way I can really be picky about what I want. You know, if they have like uh, the chocolate cherry, but they only have it in the shower gel and they don't have it in the lotion and I want it in the lotion, then I'm like screwed basically. Like in my head, I think I'm screwed when I could just go back later and get it. So I'm just not going to go into Bath and Body Works for now until my no buy is over um, and then I will go in and sprawl, smell all the spring candles and all the spring body care. I have a few candles to exchange as well um, if I want any of the new spring scents so I will do a full like exchanging and smelling and reviewing of spring stuff after this no buy is up so I'm sorry that I won't be bringing you guys the new spring content but I just feel like for my sanity I need to do this no buy because I was buying like crazy ever since really like body care day candle day and sas i've just been buying like crazy and it's overwhelming my collection is getting overwhelming so let's compare some numbers um from this year to last year so um in 2020 i used up 23 candles which is a good deal of candles that's impressive for me because years before i really didn't use up candles that often um but i really focused in 2020 on using up candles so i got through 23 and i bought 64 candles and that's after my six month no buy. So from June to December, I bought 64 candles. That's a lot. Um, so I bought 64, I used 23. So I really brought in 41 new candles that I didn't have, or like new, what am I saying? Like new numbers? Yeah. So I have over 41 over what I had last year, basically, which is not where I wanna be. I wanna be keeping my numbers standard year after year. Um, and so for body care, I used up 62 body care items. This includes pocket backs and hand soap. So just, you know, it's not necessarily just like a lotion or a body mist or anything. This is like all body care. So I used up 62 and I bought 85. So I brought in 23 extra than I had last year, which is not that bad actually. Um, considering that I used up so much, that's like actually pretty good. Um, I still would like to be keeping the same amount year after year. So 
Um, skincare, I used up 49 products and I bought 24, which is really good. Um, so I got rid of 25 out of my collection. So I think that's pretty nice. Um, and then for makeup, I used up 39 makeup products. Now this is including lip balms and I used like eight or 10 lip balms this past year. So that's probably why this number is so big. I don't usually use up a lot of makeup, but I also had a lot of sample size stuff because I used to get like Ipsy and BoxyCharm and all that. So I had a lot of sample size stuff that I had to get through last year. Um, so I got through 39 makeup products and I bought 21. This includes um, like free gift with purchases and stuff. So I lowered my makeup collection by 18 products. For hair care products, I used 27 last year and I bought 25. So I lowered my collection by two. So I really think that's like excessive to have a lot of hair care products because who needs that much? They really don't. I have my little notebook right here. So I'm gonna kind of go with you, go through with you where I was in 2020 at the start of 2020 and where I am now. So for candles, I started 2020 with 17 and now I have 42. So these numbers are kind of different because like I used some of the ones that I brought in in 2020. So if I bought one in June and I used it up in August, like, you know, so some of the numbers are kind of weird, but in 2020, I started out with 17 candles and now I have 42. I would like to ideally have around 20 candles at a time. A little bit less would be great, but I know myself and I know that I love <laughs> candles and I love testing them and I love trying them and I love a variety of scents. So 20 is my ideal number for candles um, and that includes single wicks. So right now I'm at 42 and as you guys know, I'm doing a project wax to try and use up some of my candles right now. I have my little um, pumpkin donut shop going in the background right here. So I'm trying to, you know, get a lot more purposeful about my use of candles and hopefully dwindle down my collection. For body care, I started off 2020 with 61 body care items and now I have 112. That's a lot. That's a, that's literally double. Um, and I don't want to have a hundred body care items. That's like excessive. So after this no buy as well, I do want to stick to a low buy, which is, um, either use you like every two that you use, you can buy one or every three that you use, you can buy one or every four you use, you can buy one. I haven't yet decided what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do every two or three that I use up. That I can buy one. Um, so if I use up two lotions, I can buy one lotion, something like that. Um, so I think I'll do a low buy after this in, uh, on February 17th. I'll start a low buy for maybe the first again till June. So we'll see. And then the next thing I have is skincare collection. So at the start of 2020, I was at 75 products and now I'm at 50. I think that's a really good jump. Um, I was still buying skincare, but I was using a lot of skincare last year and I had a lot of minis, like mini masks and, you know, single use um, face mask and those kind of things that were easy to use up and that I don't have to buy again. Um, and I'm really trying to get through my face mask collection because I have a lot of like um, leave on like a clay mask or like a hydrating facial mask. So I have a lot of those that I need to get through. So I really would like to keep up a skincare no buy for now um, after this because I just have a lot of skincare that I have to get through and it's getting older and older as years go by. So I really need to work through that. So for my makeup products, I started 2020 at 200 and now I have 160. So half of that is from using it and half of that is from decluttering. So I did a lot of decluttering here and there um, throughout the months of 2020. And I even did some decluttering this month in January. Um, so I think it's good that I'm continually, you know, cycling through things. I'm using up makeup products and I want to be more purposeful about the things that I do buy because I have a lot of products and I really don't need to buy extras. So if I have like I have like 12 eyeshadow palettes. I don't need to buy another one, you know? So that's kind of where my head is at for that. For hair care products, I started 2020 with 41 products and now I have 57. So 
Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> 57 is a lot of hair care products. I don't need to buy any more. So I also really want to get through my hair care stuff. I kind of want to continue on the no buy for hair care for a while until I get my collection down. I really only want to have like, you know, one hairspray, one shampoo, one conditioner, one hair mask, like one of everything because it's just excessive to have multiples. Um, and I have a lot of travel sizes too, like travel size hair oils and stuff. Hair oil takes so long for me to get through because I just don't use a lot of it. I use a pea size amount every time I use it and I only wash my hair maybe three times a week. So it's really hard for me to use up hair care and I don't style my hair like today. This I never style my hair. I braided it and I used hairspray. I never use hairspray. <laughs> so it's kind of hard for me to try and use up all this the hair care stuff because I just don't use it as often. But I'm really going to be purposeful and try not to buy any more hair care because it's excessive at this point. I highly encourage you guys, if you're feeling overwhelmed with your collection, try a no buy or a low buy because it really makes you feel like you're in control. And you know, we're not in control of everything in our lives, but if I can be in control of my inventory and my stash and my collection, that's like one more thing that makes me feel powerful and you know, connected. So, but yeah, let me know down below if you guys are planning on doing a low buy or no buy. I know at the beginning of the year, everybody kind of goes through this phase where we're, where we're super motivated and stuff. So I just want to keep up the good work um, and just continue to do well by doing a low buy for a month. So I will check in with you guys next month and let you know how the no buy went and what the low buy looks like going forward and kind of maybe an inventory update as well. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.